Carbon is one of the most important elements on Earth. All living things are made of carbon. Most of the fuels that humans use for energy are primarily made of carbon, including the food we eat. Gases made from carbon, such as carbon dioxide, play an important role in regulating climate. Biological activity causes carbon to be constantly converted among different forms and locations. These movements of carbon are referred to as the carbon cycle. The global carbon cycle describes the exchanges of carbon between the atmosphere, terrestrial vegetation, soils and organic matter, ocean, and fossil fuels. These exchanges are continually changing and not in perfect balance. Human activities are converting oil, coal, natural gas, plant and soil organic carbon into carbon dioxide, which is accumulating in our atmosphere. The atmosphere is a relatively small reservoir of carbon, containing less than 1% of the Earth's total carbon pool. Because it's so small, even a slight increase in inputs to the carbon atmosphere can have a big impact on the total concentration over time. The amount of carbon in terrestrial vegetation is comparable to the amount of carbon in the atmosphere. Vegetation takes carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere through photosynthesis. However, the amount that humans continue to add through fossil fuel emissions is more than plants are able to use, so it accumulates in the atmosphere. The CO2 that plants are able to use becomes new plant tissue. Most of the plant tissue winds up naturally dying and falling to the ground to become plant litter and eventually is decomposed or transformed to soil organic matter. Within the soil, there is more than twice as much carbon locked up in organic material than there is carbon in the atmosphere. Human activities such as land use changes and greenhouse gas emissions accelerate the conversion of soil carbon to carbon dioxide. So why is this important? Carbon dioxide is a major greenhouse gas, which causes heat to be retained between the Earth and the atmosphere. Some radiation leaving the Earth's surface is trapped by greenhouse gases, causing heat to be retained. This happens because CO2 absorbs outgoing infrared radiation and re-emits it in all directions, including back down to the Earth's surface. This leads to increased temperatures in the lower atmosphere, which in turn can increase the rate of decomposition, which further increases the amount of atmospheric carbon. This creates a magnifying cycle of increased warming and increased atmospheric carbon. It's important to understand the overall exchanges of carbon to understand this process.